At the end of the 24th century and 14 years after his retirement, Starfleet, John Luc Picard is living in a quiet life on his vineyard. Chateau Picard. Today, we're watching Gargoyles on First Wait, and Last. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Cue the theme music. Is that going to go before the theme? <laughs> My name is Josh, and with me we have Joe. <laughs> hey, man. And Jimmy. What is going on? <laughs> I was just trying to throw you for a loop. Where we're am watching, I? We're watching Gargoyles today. Um, I started watching Picard, though, and it's pretty good. Dang. So if I you have, like I Star Trek uh, listeners, you should. You I should, bet it is. You should watch it. He's really old. Patrick Stewart's really old. I mean, sure. Like you do. But He's timeless, though. I watched the first two episodes the other day. He's always been old. He's solid. Solid choice. Mm. Joe, what's this mm. podcast for anyone that uh, cares to know? Uh, we're called First and Last. We take a TV show, watch only the first and only the last episode. Just the pilot, the finale, nothing in between, and then we judge it just on that. Based on its judge it merits. Hard. Yeah. And accessibility. Mm-hmm. And we give all the hot takes. A lot of times it's shows we haven't seen because we haven't seen a lot of TV shows. <laughs> so we're the best people to do this podcast. this is the way we experience tv it's just beginning and end nothing in between Hot maybe some ready takes maybe some wikipedia hey i mean little Caesars. i feel like i got like 130 tv shows under my belt that i'm like do i want to watch that and i'm like nah that didn't do very well yeah just and some like half-ass tv research internet research yeah on the tv shows exactly but I have seen some of this show today. It's uh, from our childhoods. It's called Gargoyles. I remember loving this show. Um, it went three seasons, 78 episodes. Yeah, 78 episodes. And it went from uh, 1994 to 1996. I vaguely remember Gargoyles. I was not like a regular watcher, but like I know what they look like. Mm-hmm. And I know that they're like, I think they're Gargoyles by day and then like gargoyles, gargoyles by, gargoyles night. by <laughs> night they're like stone statues by day and then like living creatures <laughs> by night sure they're werewolves yeah well werewolves aren't stone by day they're just people hmm, hmm. that seems that <laughs> seems nice <laughs> so so like uh isn't there there's something there's something else what what, what do you mean that, that has a night day turn thing Oh, it's just, well, like, uh, like they're just gonna vampires die. can't go into the daytime. Okay, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I guess the witches and Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Is there something that also cannot go out and and be around during the day, or is like stuck frozen um, during a nighttime or a daytime cycle? Yeah, Frankenstein's are <laughs> frozen meat during the day. <laughs> okay. Like, and then, uh, <laughs> and then, at, and then at nighttime he thaws Just and he beef. works on his monster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just All right, creating up a mythology the... for Frankenstein. Yeah. Um, question: Do you guys? So you, Josh, you said you watched this. This animation like reminds me of like a '90s Batman or like a Fox. Yeah, like Marvel or something. One of the mm-hmm. one of the shows that led me to this was I wanted to watch Batman Beyond tonight. Ooh, because I feel like Batman Beyond is dope in my mind. So why or not? Because when I was looking for it, I found Gargoyles streaming. <laughs> okay, and I didn't have to look you anymore because I found a show that I also wanted to watch. All right, fair. So that's why we're doing this one. Yeah, we have time. It's a pretty good animation. I mean, for 1994, you know, there's some. There were some pretty. I feel like there's some pretty crappy animations coming out mm. of like the 80s. Mm. You know, and this is where at least maybe you mm. United States cartoons started bidding better. Okay, yeah. I mean, I get I get that. I think like like at some point we should watch um Transformers. Mm. Cuz if, <laughs> if you go back and watch that like the like pilot of that 
animated show, it is a uh, it's rough. Yeah, like I watched the <laughs> 19, I think it's like a nineteen eighty four the movie of the Transformers. Oh, wow, which really? it has a movie too, and yeah, it was hard to get into that style. I think it's kind of stylized a little bit. So if you like it, then you like it. But okay. overall, it doesn't do okay. it for me. Fair. And then watching like something like Beast Wars again. If we're going the Transformers oh, route, right. where it was like all computer generated, because right around this time was when they late nineties was when they started doing computer generated. Mm-hmm. Joe knows he loves reboot. I love computers. <laughs> big, big uh, CGI guy, but only like late nineties. Big computers, love big computers. Just the, <laughs> just the bad, like, like in the late nineties. So there's that. I mean, I pretty much I don't know what's going to happen in this exact first episode. So the way the first episodes are broken up is it's called the Awakening Part One through Five, and they're on I think just Monday through Friday oh, that week. Is I think okay. how they did it because that's yeah. what cartoons did back then. Um, so, so this we're, was Disney. Yeah, this is Disney. I was trying to look up like some information on like the creators or the development of it, and like from what I can gather, at least from Wikipedia, like there isn't like it wasn't like the the like the idea child of some like creative person. It was just like Disney wanted a like funny but serious action comedy com- or like cartoon like. Kind of like Batman, kind of like Spider Man, but like make up a new thing. Okay. <laughs> and then like just a bunch of different like studio hand cartoon writers wrote some episodes about gargoyles. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, well of course it didn't do well then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it did pretty well. We know what it is. Well, that's true, we do, but I get like the Wikipedia says that it uh it like failed to compete against batman sure that was it's batman though that's well, batman. obviously i mean any show like that that has like a ton of source material versus like a bunch of random dudes just writing random episodes mm-hmm. i mean somebody wrote five episodes i'm assuming it was like there's like a uh, husband wife team that wrote most of the first um like season okay and then it kind of switched in there but it wasn't essentially saying that it wasn't their idea that they pitched to disney disney was like Write us a gargoyles cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Write us a hit. Yeah. Alright. Cool. And they were like, huh, like Batman, but not uh I don't know. Gargoyles? Well they're gonna have wings. Well, you gotta uh, have wings. You said Batman, they gotta so. do stuff at night. Uh Write us a Batman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but there's gonna be like seven of them. <laughs> Got it? There's seven gargoyles. Um, I don't know what there's I know one's in Goliath team. is the leader. Right, Power Rangers, but Batman. There's um, like, yeah, there's like the very like. There's Brooklyn, Hudson. Ooh, they're ooh. named after like Hudson Hawk. They're named after like, like New York the City, boroughs um, and rivers of New York. Okay. Um, and Goliath, Midtown. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that's just how you know he's the biggest one. <laughs> oh, I know there's there's like, Manhattan. I know at some point there's a girl and her name's like Demona. You know the mm-hmm. pop- popular New York borough, Demona. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> There, maybe there's just a Bronx and a Hudson, and that's it. Well, because there's Goliath, because the Goliath Chronicles. Right. Well, okay. One of them's like a dog gargoyle, which is kind of fun. Like, as in? Like, literally, he's like a dog, but he's a gargoyle, so he still turns to stone and stuff. But, but he's just a dog. You'll see. You'll see. I don't remember <laughs> at all what he, the like, plots of these but, like, are Does about. he talk? Does no. Does he have wings? No. He, has, okay. he doesn't have wings, and he's he just doesn't a dog. talk. He's like a dog, he's the Pluto. but he looks like them, but if they were a dog, basically. Oh, he's like a stone oh, so he does look dog like thing? Yeah, he's a gargoyle dog. Okay, 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 okay. That one... Does he have wings? Do we, we say that? No. Did we ask that? No wings, yes. Okay. Joe asked that. Okay. You're behind, Jimmy. Huh. <laughs> I just Pay thought... I, I just... Wings <coughs> would make sense to me. I mean, everybody else. Dog. Everybody else. Otherwise, has it's wings. just a dog that turns it's to stone a during the day. Crappy dog. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's a big I dog. Can't, I can never play with this dog. There's a. I don't remember what his name is. There's a. There's a guy who is a super rich dude, and he like. Like an actual human. Yeah, he's like a. I feel like he's a good guy in the beginning, and then he becomes like their Lex Luthor, like the bad guy. Mm, you gotta have a good baddie. So I think, and then there's yeah. a lady cop. 
who be like befriends them. Hmm. Oh, okay. I don't know if we're getting all of this in the first episode, hmm. so I'm just gonna lay it out hmm. a little bit. Also, um, speaking of Jean Luc Picard, um, Raker is the voice in this, isn't he? I don't know. I recall Raker being involved. Wait, John Luke Picard is in this? No, no. no. His uh, number two. Okay. Number two. Um, what's his name? Uh, Keith David is the voice of Goliath. Yep. Everybody knows Keith David's voice. Yeah. I don't really don't really know why, but like <laughs> everybody knows Keith David's voice. Yeah. Hmm. And then I think Tim Prolific. Curry was like he was like a tenth character down. He might have been the bad guy. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah. Watched Clue the other day. <laughs> Super young. Tim Curry in Clue. Young Curry. I mean, he just looks young. I I, he's probably still like thirty-five. But Back like when they called him Timmy Curry, Timothy Curry. Um, yeah, Jimmy. I can. It says Timothy. Jonathan Franks. Franks. Yeah. It was Franks. in this, but it, I. I mean, we don't know. We'll find out who he is. Cool. All right. okay. Maybe he's the bad we guy. We probably won't. <laughs> we got to right. No, but I. I, th- I thought he was a gargoyle. Maybe not. Um, I'm reading that there used to be a uh, annual convention called the Gathering of the Gargoyles, dedicated to any relation. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> okay, definitely okay. like based on the Gargoyles ca- cartoon, like a fan convention huh. strictly about gargoyles. Huh. After three seasons. <laughs> yeah. Began in '97, ended in 2009. The convention did. It did really. Yeah, it went strong for like 13 years. Wow. Okay, <laughs> gargoyles. So yeah, let's get it. It's uh, it's a definitely a cult following show that was at least successful enough to have some sort of recognition from me, a person who didn't watch it. I know what gargoyles <laughs> is though. Is there a dope theme song? I feel like it's uh, it's, it's one of Disney. those like it's gotta be. I bet this. I think it's good, but I think it's like Keith David being like. This is a thing that happened to us one time, and I have to tell you about it. And I am Goliath, the king of the gargoyles. That's cool. not a bad Keith David. Uh, it's not. Right. No, we'll find out. We're gonna about to watch it and see how bad of a Keith David that was. It helps that I'm like a little sick, so then it lowers my voice a little bit, yeah, so I can try to get into Keith David range, <laughs> man, manly range. Really, is what mm. I'm usually stuck outside of that. <clears throat> I'm Josh. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to first and last. That's per- people don't even know if it's me or you. <laughs> yeah, uh, it hurts. It hurts my heart. <laughs> um, we got anything else? Thoughts, thoughts, feelings, concerns about gargoyles um, before I we think, head in? Um, can I like? I was about to predict that they don't transform into gargoyles. <laughs> Well, they they they're gargoyles. Yeah, it's not, it's not really a transformation <laughs> metamorphosis type show. Yeah, they I'm, don't morph. I'm gonna predict <laughs> like they don't use any sort of gargoyle superpowers in this. So like just, flight or strength. Yeah, okay. they just are walking around. Hmm. <laughs> Look at these Very feet passive. I can use. <laughs> I'm a gargoyle. <laughs> why 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 can't I? Um, so Power Rangers morph, and then what are they like bots? The zords? zords? Yeah, uh, my prediction is no zords this episode. No zords. Oh wow, Jimmy, you're really you're really going all out here. <laughs> uh, it's Disney. Let's see. Uh, there's gonna be a prince and princess type scenario. Do you think the gargoyles have like love stories? There's, I think there's maybe some royalty yeah. within the gargoyles, like a weird Russian, uh, like an Anastasia vibe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe like, just yeah, because I think I'm a, thinking of that animation. I think there's a sea demon that steals someone's voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Someone's name is Ursula. <laughs> there's a RoboCop version of the Gargoyles. There's He's definitely going to be some mythology involved, some Greek mythology. Yeah, do we think we start out? Because I know this takes place in like New York modern day. Mm-hmm. Um, but do we think it, do you guys think it starts there? Or is it start in like... I don't gargoyle know, like time. gargoyle time. Yeah, when's gargoyle time? <laughs> France, it, it medieval time, probably. I want to say France. I think. I think this. I think there's a loose connection to. Um, uh, what's the guy with the hump? <laughs> Quasimodo. Quasimodo. And Notre what's Dame. That? Notre Dame. What? What's? Isn't that a Disney movie? 
yeah, yeah, the, the hunchback, hunchback of Notre the Dame. The hunchback of yeah, it's gonna have a loose connection to that. Notre Dame. Oh, there's okay. there's like a hunchback. gargoyle in that, isn't there, or two? Yeah, or three. The gargoyle. The gargoyle is talking. I don't think I've ever movie. seen that movie. Really? Yeah. Well, I didn't realize it. It's like a movie that doesn't exist. Okay, in my head. first we're gonna go watch <laughs> Hunchback. <laughs> Then when we come back, are there songs in it? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, that movie came out in 1996, by the way. So huh. this was after. So they ripped G- Gargoyle Show off by making Ooh. the Hunchback Show. Dang, hmm. dang. I consider there being a Frankenstein monster in the show. I don't think we're going to see it. Hmm. Mm. Octopus monster, but I could see it. Octopus monster eating a hot dog, stealing a girl's voice. You're just trying not to score points now because she's an octopus. <laughs> well, we get it. <laughs> I can't wait for the live action reboot of Gargoyles. <laughs> yeah. On oh, ice. Starring Patrick Stewart. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be Goliath. <laughs> but Bob Saget's going to be doing his voice. Neil Patrick Harris. Um, all right. We're, uh, we've been daddling, doodling, daddling for too long. We're going to go watch the first episode. It's The Awakening Part 1 mm-hmm. that happened on the Monday of this week. Hopefully they become Gargoyles and make, and make <laughs> Joe's night. We'll see you after that. Hey, hey, hey. More like fart goils, am I right? <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're back. <laughs> and we back. We're finished with the first episode of Gargoyles called Awakening Part 1. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're going to say... Part two, or for some reason, <laughs> we 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 yeah we we're switching we it up. We're almost first and last now. <laughs> Just second episode of every show. No, we watched the first one. It's a oh. gargoyle backstory, really. Uh, Jimmy Jimmy's <laughs> got to go get our food. Get it. Uh, so but he's the write up guy. Well, we can we can walk through it together, can't we, Joe? Yeah, we can handle it. Um. We, so yeah, 1994 Disney cartoon. Um, so it's going to give us like the origin story of these gargoyles. Cause what the fuck is a cartoon called gargoyles, right? <laughs> right. Well, it started, <laughs> I mean, it took place in two different spots. It started in quote unquote present day. Yeah. It opens with present day. And there was like a city that's pretty obviously New York. Yeah. Um, and then there was explosions on a tall on a building, tall building mm-hmm. and things were falling down. Yeah. And a cop drove up and she was all like, what's going on? Uh huh. And then they all just stared up, and no one seemed to be going in. It's like rocks falling off this yeah. giant building. It was people are like, what is this? Yeah, it was dangerous <laughs> for sure. Um, and then it went back to Scotland, 1994. Nine, 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 oh, you missed a part in the uh, the intro. She like is trying to figure out what's going on, and she finds like claw marks in the stone of the building. Oh, yeah. She's like, what can make claw marks in stone? Like tool, basic tools, anything too. like yeah. metal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so many and then things. yeah, and then they flash us back to 1994 Scotland. Well, oh, nine, wait, not nine, 900. 994 <laughs> Scotland. So a thousand years ago. 1994 Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just a flash <laughs> sideways. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Scotland, it's just dudes watching TV. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, you want to go to the pub? <laughs> um. Yeah, and so then the gargoyles are, like, guarding a castle that have humans in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's a castle on a cliff that is being invaded by some other You really got hung up on, like, the location of this so castle. It's medieval. a weird location. For just, this is out on a cliff. It doesn't seem structurally sound. Well, they can't be, uh, they can't be attacked from more than one side. Yeah, but so you could just, easy, like... easily defensive, defensible, could, but they don't seem like they have good defenses. I've seen enough Wily e. Coyote to know that... You can just like break off that ledge, and all of a sudden the castle falls into the sea. Okay, okay. <laughs> in medieval times, yeah, in medieval they times. Don't think they have like dynamite medieval and stuff. Times. You, you just <laughs> order some Acme dynamite, and it's it's just mm. that easy, Jimmy. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, they flash back to Scotland, uh, medieval Scotland, and the gargoyles are protecting this castle from an invading army. The the Wikipedia says it's they're attacked by Vikings. Vikings, mm. full on Vikings. They were blonde. Yeah, mm. that's how yeah. you're supposed to know. Um, and they're <laughs> they able to fend off the attack. And the humans living in the castle don't appreciate the gargoyles. They don't appreciate them at all. No, they're like those monsters. And I'm like, 
You have mythical beasts that are yeah. like nice to you and protect you, and they fly and yeah, shit, man. Like, like maybe be a little bit, beasts. you know, if you if you haven't had one on one meeting with them, maybe yeah. be a little like apprehensive because they are huge, crazy beasts. Yeah, but even if you don't like them, you have to show them respect because they can crush you <laughs> with a pinky. <laughs> yeah. So one of the good humans says, like, "Hey, if you just got rid of this invading Viking army." Um, just like scare them away, then maybe they would like give you the respect you want. Yeah. Um, so Goliath, the main gargoyle, goes off on this quest with like this old man gargoyle. Yep. Um, and they're gonna go into the woods. Ed Asner. And and no one and no, none of the gargoyles have names besides Goliath. Just right Goliath. Now. Yeah. Yeah. They they're gonna go into the woods and like try to scare them off, but they find out it was like it was a diversion. Um, when the rest of the army is actually attacking the castle, but they can't get back in time because the sun's coming up and turning to stone. Because gargoyles, whose whole life depends on time management, have yeah. terrible time management. We'll, we'll touch on that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they turned into stone. They they fell for the trick, and then the, the Viking army is able to attack the castle and smash at least one gargoyle. They, I think we saw a couple it piles. Seems... Because all the other gargoyles, I mean, I, I, we're led to believe, I guess, that the gargoyles turn into stone mm-hmm. in the sun. So because this army attacked during the day, <coughs> they're able to smash at least yeah, one unfortunately. gargoyle. Unfortunately, And then once night falls and the castle has already been raised, um, Goliath flies back and, like, mourns some rubble who he thinks is... The lady. Demona? His, yeah, his, his yeah. second in command and love of his life, Demona. His angel of the night? Is angel that what of the night. Is that what he called her? He's like holding like two rocks and he's like, oh. There's I no think, defining I characteristics thought... of that rubble. <laughs> so I, I thought he thinks that all the gargoyles there are are rubble. Like, I guess, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think mean, that's there what was... he thinks. But I think he thought that particular rubble yeah, was, that was his uh-huh. lady was the lady. Because he says the angel of the night thing. Yeah, and I didn't hear him he's call like, anybody else that. He said... Mm-hmm. Before he left, he was like, we are one. Like, they're boyfriend and girlfriend. We're going steady, <clears throat> me and you. Gargoyle love. Yeah. And then that's where the episode ends. It says, to be continued. And then they show us clips from, uh, looks like, upcoming few episodes, probably. Yeah. Gargoyle's yeah, doing maybe. cool shit in present day. Uh, Yeah, definitely like a castle on top of a building, mm-hmm. which is probably where they were fighting. Yeah. Um, yeah, it looked cool. And then it showed the the dude some 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 hip hippie looking dude. yeah a guy with a goatee wearing all black he's yeah. probably yeah, bad that's news that's totally Riker. <laughs> that's the guy who i think is Riker. that's jonathan frakes Riker. yeah yeah and the girl who played uh uh, uh deanna troy on star trek is oh, yeah. also the, she was the lady was gargoyle the, the lady yeah. gargoyle demona yeah. so when i rammed him randomly read that picard intro i was connecting this whole thing to star trek on accident for real I read in the Wikipedia that there's a lot of Star Trek crossover with gargoyles. Ooh, yeah. nice. I like it. I feel like the USS Enterprise is going to be in the last episode. Yeah. So I, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I feel so. I feel Picard in this Chili's tonight. <laughs> it, what is that a ref? <laughs> Chili's? It's a few references. I haven't been to Chili's in a while. <laughs> um, Chicken crisp. So I feel like it. There was a part in the plot that I got lost. Um, yeah. So. You got the princess who's like repulsed by the gargoyles, uh-huh. and then you have her advisor, like worm tongue character, creepy, elvish looking, Magus, Ma- Magus, something like that. He, yeah, he was like he was like Maggots. evil looking Merlin, basically. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. he yeah. looks shifty for sure. Um, shifty Merlin. So then he's like gonna go create the diversion because he hates the gargoyles. Yeah, and you're like, okay, that makes sense. He's shifty. He sucks. Mm-hmm. But then at the end, it's the captain of the guard who's like all, like who likes the gargoyles. Who's like, you find out is the one who like let the Vikings in the castle. Well, his what the hell? his ultimate goal was basically that all the humans in the castle were being dicks to him uh-huh. and the gargoyles. Uh-huh. So he wanted the Vikings to come in, take the castle, like get rid of the humans, and then not touch the gargoyles. Because then, when the bad Vikings so he guy just didn't like the humans anymore, yeah, they were they were bullying him, and so the way to overcome the bullying was he decided to try to get all of them murdered. <laughs> you think that's what that the really that captain guy was doing? Yeah, I did not follow that. that. Yeah, I thought I thought that because he was the one that went 
to the Viking guy. Okay, I thought it was Mag. I, I thought it was the Mag- Merlin. Magus. I think they Magus. made it look like it because they never showed they it. They never showed it. Yeah. So right. they made it. They made right. you think it was the shifty Merlin dude. Yeah. But it was really the captain guy who was oh, like friends. Dang, that's dark. Yeah. No, this this show gets real. Um, <laughs> and so. So it is Batman. So, but he was trying to like still like be good with the gargoyles and not get them hurt. But obviously, he gave a intruding army just access to just murder skeleton like people that can't fight back that uh-huh. will destroy him if they wake up. So, obviously, yeah. they killed them. <laughs> like, right? <laughs> Pretty obvious. They killed the gargoyles. You're saying? Yeah. Because yeah, they smashed. We saw at least one of them get smashed, and they were still in rock form. Yeah. Um. They're smashed off screen. So when they get smashed in rock form, they <laughs> don't I turn into like... goo, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> At no, night, they just they turn don't. into goo. Even though they did bleed blood when they were yeah. um, non- yeah, they're not gargoyle. invincible. There's, non- a lot stone of, there's a lot of magics going on here. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I think the part I have confusion about is Goliath's plan. So again, Goliath had this plan that he's going to go into the woods to scare off the Vikings and that'll mm-hmm. get him away for good. Yeah, Goliath either it like thinks he's got good ideas or like mm-hmm. maybe maybe he thinks that people are like smarter than they should be <laughs> yeah. or he's got just like a lot of hubris thinking that he's like I'm a big giant gargoyle I can scare them off forever. It was just poor yeah. execution yeah. cuz yeah. his plan is me and this old guy are going to go scare them in the woods. But you, Demona, and the rest of my like gargoyle lieutenants have to stay here and watch the castle. Right. Well, yeah. Solid he's plan. Like, right. Yeah. Because like, Captain the Guard's like, you guys should all go and take care of him right now. And he's like, yeah. we will leave the castle defenseless if we all go. Yeah. yeah. See, he was trying to be good to him. Makes solid. To... The problem is he goes to scare off um, the Vikings in the woods. Turns out there's just one guy with a horse, and then they're like, oh, it was a diversion, and then they come back out, and then the sun's coming up. So and like it totally caught him by surprise. But like how like how long are nights in Scotland like like I mean, same as here? <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> like at least a few hours long? Like he had time to do this plan before the sun comes up. It seemed like he had all night and he waited till like we got like 2 hours before sunrise. <laughs> he, was he waited so till like 6 a.m. and was like, "Should we go do this now? It'll only take a minute." <laughs> he was so confused but by the diversion. But it's like he's a gargoyle. He has one like weakness, and it's that he turns into stone when the sun comes up. So it's like the one thing you got to watch out for. Like every day, <laughs> yeah. the sun comes up. It you got to have all your shit done by then. What time yeah. is it? Should almost always be <laughs> yeah. in the back of your mind. Like I said, like when he comes out of the forest and the sun's coming up, he's like, "Oh no!" And it's like <laughs> they didn't like just like cue mm-hmm. the sun early today <laughs> like yeah. they didn't do some sort of magic to make the sun come up it just but it also, was daytime like, if the vikings had ever at any time just waited till daytime also that they could have just easily taken this castle so it's that a pretty <laughs> huge hole in the gargoyles right defense. because the gargoyles even on the castle they're they turn to stone during the daytime which makes me concerned about kind of the rest of this show because it's like if you're a bad guy trying to avoid gargoyles, don't you just do your shit during the daytime? Yes. It's kind of like opposite. <laughs> um, but you can't stop them from attacking you at night. that's not when thieves attack. I guess. Isn't there like a, a daytime superhero? And it's like, well, I just do my shit during, at, night, at night. I mean, I'm sure there's Batman? a I mean, Superman <laughs> flies around in the daytime all the time. I think it's like. He likes the sun. It charges what is, what is him up. Is Captain Planet. Um, is he solar powered? I, think, I mean, that would make sense. He's planted by five <laughs> rings, including heart. That's true. It's the planeteers, so maybe it's not. But I, I could have sworn there was some like who's only a day solar powered superhero. I mean, like Superman literally gets his strength from like the yellow sun, from the yeah. sun. Yeah. So That's... I mean, you know, he's like if he went somewhere where there wasn't a yellow sun, he wouldn't be strong anymore. Hmm. Interesting. But like, he's still strong at night. Yeah. yeah, he's, he's got a ba- he's, he's got, got like battery. Yeah, you got the moon. It's <laughs> yeah. reflecting. He's heard of batteries. Yeah, he he knows batteries. But yeah, so uh, if you're any sort of bad guy in this show, maybe they explain it. Maybe they figure out some way for the gargoyles to exist during the day, or maybe their cop friend like takes care of the crime during the day. But like otherwise, if you're trying to avoid gargoyles, there are four more parts to this to you know <laughs> yeah. explain all of the. We don't even know where the gargoyles freaking come from. What what their deal is? Yeah. I mean, what this the hell is are you? Um, <laughs> so, I mean, this is part one. It was on a Monday. Part two's after school next on Tuesday. Uh-huh. Like, I mean, I feel I'm, like I'm hooked. I feel like I'm, I'm a gonna. Kid. I'm watching this for sure. You know, uh-huh. I'm 
I'm definitely tuning in. What's going to happen? They yeah. showed me a sweet like roll of images at the end, and I need to know. Yeah, that all looked cool. I'm hyped mm. for like. I think this is a cool idea of like these like mythical creatures in the city. I'm into that. Mm-hmm. The animation has a very like the cartoons we talked about. Like it does feel very bad. Batman, Batman animated series, Absolutely. Ninja Turtles, a little bit of like maybe Spider Man in there too. Mm-hmm. Um, the gargoyles look cool. Um, so like I'm, I could see how as a kid or even as an adult here being like, I want to see what these gargoyles can do in the city though. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to the city, though. Yeah. Come on. Present day gargoyles. Season two has 50 episodes. Really cool. really took off. 52 episodes. That's, yeah. That's 90% of the show, really. Because they're probably doing the that. Like, they're doing that every day, right? Or maybe at least Monday through Thursday. It's probably yeah. most weekdays, yeah. Mm-hmm. After after class, you know, after school. After class. Once the kids are done with class, they watch the gargoyles kick yeah. ass. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, four four days a week. All right, what Mostly. happened? On, what happened on Friday? Just are you afraid of the dark all day long? Yeah, that's prime. That's prime time, man. It's prime time. Prime time. Um, and stuff. Yeah. Should we get into predictions now? Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, uh, my Go number one it. is I think Demona is evil in Aww, this last no. episode. Oh, that was Demona. Oh, so um, they got a divorce. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe they're still married. They can't settle. Hmm. Maybe that's what this is about. Hmm. The whole con- the whole trouble. present day conflict is just I there. I can see that. I can see that. Like she's, he's like, she's basically like the Magneto to his Professor X. You know, yeah. She's like, screw these humans. He's like, no, I gotta protect them. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, I can definitely see that. She already was kind of like that in the first episode. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, number two, I think they go back to sleep slash stone at the end. Okay. Like for good? Yeah, I think their plan oh, at the end is like, uh, oh, we're just gonna like be in stone now. Cool. For I don't know why you do that, but I feel like that's what they're gonna do. <laughs> okay. Um, I think a gargoyle I think that gargoyle that eats everything, I think he eats a hot dog. No, it's just like a fat gargoyle who yeah. eats a lot. <laughs> yeah. All he did was just eat food all the time. Uh uh-huh. yeah. And then I think there's yeah. a hybrid gargoyle. Like I don't know if he's like mm. machine or like part human or something, but I think he's there's somebody that's very clearly like, not um, just gargoyle. Like the guy in Underworld who's like half werewolf, half vampire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like that guy, but gargoyle. But gar- half gargoyle, half something. Yeah. We already have the one that's like Who half gargoyle, half Beckinson. dog. I just that's just a dog. Oh, yeah. That's a dog gargoyle. He's not a, a half dog something. Goyle? Yeah, he doesn't have like a dog head and yeah. <laughs> like a gargoyle body or yeah, something. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm into it. I have um, number one, a gargoyle kiss. Ooh. Not saying who, but I think we see <laughs> two gargoyles Not kiss. Um, G smooches. Uh, number two, gargoyle blood. I think we see some gargoyles taking mm. some damage. Ooh, uh, battle damage Goliath. Yeah. Nice. Uh, number three, a gargoyle song. I think this being Disney. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to sing a song. <laughs> it is Disney. I don't think that's going to happen, and I really hope it doesn't. I think it only counts, like, it can't be, like, gargoyles, like, playing instruments. Like, I think they have to sing. Okay. It's got to okay. be a gargoyle a Disney, song. a classic Disney. Yeah. <coughs> we'll know it. We'll know it when we see it. Um, and then number four, I think there's a little gargoyle baby. Ooh, okay. Kind of a precursor to Probably a baby. Probably comes after the smooch. Yeah. <laughs> a precursor to a baby Yoda. There's, like, a little gargoyle baby. Trying to go viral. <laughs> Baby Garg. Uh, yeah. whoa, when does that show come back? Mandalorian? Not important. We're <laughs> not soon enough. Uh, okay, you guys stole some of mine. So I, <laughs> I have, well, I have specifically Goliath has a kid. Okay. We got maybe, maybe even some teen angst gargoyle. I Ooh. can see like Goliath like having like all of a sudden in the, present day some like other gargoyle shows up he's like i'm your kid and it's like what if it's (laughs) with lady cop and that's the hybrid wow i'm in that's not what i said that's not my prediction that'd be weird and i don't think they would would do that gargoyle bangs the human and makes a gargoyle and human like that's you know it's just they're both bipedal yeah we'll talk about this later but i read a weird thing that one Uh of the creators wanted to put 
end of the show. One and two. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, don't forget. Yeah. Guy girls have genitals. <laughs> um, my number two is fat. Is <laughs> also fat guy girl, but I think he eats a pizza. Because we're in New oh, York. Cool. And it's, it's basically a Ninja Turtles. It's quite, po- <laughs> it's quite possible he puts it's a hot like dog a, on a pizza and t- eats oh, all of it. True, true. You got well, cheesy hot dog, masters. Yeah, hot dog is just as much New York. You know, there's just as many hot dog stands as there are pizza places. You take a hot dog, wrap it in Never some been. jack cheese. Um, <laughs> what? It? Get a copyright strike. <laughs> you got cheesy blasters. <laughs> Nice. <coughs> um, I think the N, the so the gargoyles have to have an NYC like home base. Okay. I think like it's the real, the real like cathedral in NYC. Oh. Which I think is St. Patrick's. Okay. Um. And then. Not a castle. There's no castles in New York. All right, we'll see. That's why I'm saying this. <laughs> so that's, that's what came to my mind. It's the only. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, are there? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> okay, I'm sure then. they got a medieval times okay, or something. Then. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> um, and then my last one is: I think this ends like Lord of the Rings, where they get saved by eagles. Where they? <laughs> well, no, they have wings, but apparently they can't fly. So maybe no, like they like get on like like how they you know they get like get on the Bilbo gets on the ship with like the elves and like you know, and they like sail away into. I think they're basically they're gonna go off into non-existence. Oh, they're gonna leave on like another adventure sort of thing. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna leave and not be, not be like protecting stuff anymore. Hmm. It's right. in their nature that it protects stuff. Yeah, that's true. But they, they move on and and protect something else. And something new. Interplanetary. To <laughs> <laughs> They'll figure it out. There's aliens in this one. No. Like, <laughs> sail off into the undying lands. I feel like once you get gargoyles in here, you can just make any bad shit thing happen. For some, like, there yeah. could be aliens. Who knows, man? The door is open. Let's find out. Um, we're going to watch the last episode. I believe it's called Angel of the Night. Oh. Ooh. Call so, back. We'll see you after that. And we're back. We're done with the final episode of Gargoyles. Angels yeah. in the Night is what it was called. Gargoyles Angels. Goliaths edition. What is it? According to Disney Plus, it was like called the, the Goliath Chronicles colon yeah. Angels in the Night. Tried to spruce it up. Yeah. The whole third season is called the Goliath Chronicles. Which I, I wonder didn't yeah. save them. Wonder why? Oh, yeah, I don't know why. Did not save them. <laughs> they were trying to do something like cool, like well, they moved it to from week every weeknight to their Saturday morning lineup. Okay, hmm. so maybe they they kind of tried to rebrand it to be like, yeah, this it's is a, a thing. thing. Yeah, it's what gonna be more fun. Doing? It's gonna be more chronically. You're gonna watch this more now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Goliath's gonna be in it. You remember him? He's the big one. <laughs> Uh, he's Keith David. What is? What else is he the voice of? He's the voice of stuff. Yeah, he's, he's... the voice of Spawn. Okay. Yeah, I just kind of just we should do that show. Generally, a cartoon guy. He's been in a lot of cartoons. Yeah. A lot of a lot of stuff recently, and a lot of uh, Rick and Morty. Really, that's fun. Yeah, I bet he's been in a lot of video games as well. Mm-hmm. I could see it. I could see it. Voice actor Keith David. He was in like live action in community for like the last couple seasons. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and he was like, cause he like narrated some stuff. Yeah, it's like weird to see Keith, Keith David. Like I feel, just feel like he's always the voice of something. Mm-hmm. So then when he like walks in on like the TV show and he's like, "Hello, I'm Keith David." <laughs> it's like ah, that's what you, that's who you are. It's a full on body that goes with the voice. That's a body. <laughs> That's a human person. <laughs> okay, but do you think that about like Morgan Freeman? No, because I, I he's a, he's a Sigourney movie person. Weaver? Yeah, they're, yeah, but they're in like they're norm they're known for like live uh, action movies yeah. where Yardley Keith David Smith, to me Adam West Keith David <laughs> to me is the voice of things, not okay for yeah. the most part. Yeah, because he hasn't really been in a lot of he hasn't been like a main character in a lot of like tv shows or anything i would like to see if i saw like a cartoon or something and sigourney weaver was a voice if i was like is that 
Is that Sigourney Weaver? I don't know if I'd say that. Yeah, probably not. I probably wouldn't pick it up. Avatar? I totally would. <laughs> she voiced, I said that because she was the like, the like US version, overdub version of the BBC Planet Earth special. Mm-hmm. Which, if you're gonna watch that, watch the BBC version. It's literally the same thing, but you, it's you're like on... a cool British dude reading the same exact lines. Huh. Ragging on Sigourney Weaver over no, here. She's just fine. She's weaves. Alien, love it. Aliens, even better. <laughs> Alien Three, trash. <laughs> Don't watch that shit. Alien Resurrection, uh, pretty good. Prometheus. Is that a? Is that an alien? Yeah. yeah. It's like a prequel. I don't something. think I ever saw that. Alien. Is she in that? That doesn't make sense. I didn't say she was in it. We were just talking about aliens now. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alien versus Predator. Hey, should I read the like, yeah. thing of this? <laughs> uh, Angels in the Night, the Chronicles of Narnia. Dot com. That's not. None of that is right. The clan is lured into a trap by John Castaway and the Quarry Men, where it is believed. Yeah, that sense doesn't make sense. Where it is believed all but Angela and Bronx were killed in an explosion. So all the other uh, gargoyles. Luckily, it is revealed Xanatos saved the Manhattan clan by predicting John's plan and bribing the builder of the trap to build a secondary one within it to save them. A trap within a trap. (laughs) Though they remain hidden. Uh, Captured, Angela and Bronx are sent on a train to be put in proper captivity. However, the quarrymen attack the train, speeding it up and planning to send it and the passengers on board over a now-destroyed bridge. The public now sees the quarrymen are insane and are even more shocked when the Manhattan clan save the train and capture the quarrymen. The episode comes to an end when Gal- with Goliath repeating the season 2 narration, but ends with how his clan is now accepted by the world. This was the last episode of the series in animated form. <laughs> uh, what? That I seems think there's, ominous. I think there's comics that extend oh, okay. that. Yeah. Oh, okay, sweet. Live action gargoyles. <laughs> That's what I was picturing. <laughs> um, yeah. It's funny. They were like, the people now realize that John Castaway and his quarrymen, a uh, completely very obvious allegory to the clan, <laughs> clearly are the clan. bad guys. They're just like wearing They're hoods. They're wearing hoods. They're just black, not white. Ho- hoods. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hoods. Oh, man. <laughs> Edit that. Edit hoods closer to the sentence. <laughs> Next the, time. the hoods are black instead of white. I'm. <sighs> it's kind of a deep blue. Is it? <laughs> But yeah, so there's these guys, the quarrymen, um, that are apparently trying to spread some fear mongering about the, the gargoyles. The goyles. The gargoyles are really just trying to protect the people. But there's a whole campaign saying that the gargoyles are dangerous and you should be afraid of them. So once again, the gargoyles mm. are trapped. <laughs> they're very easily tricked. <laughs> Oh man, they're they terrible. Not the, good at the plan is, That's a tiny child screaming. We should think, go. Yeah, Three there's a, um, later they'd be better at. They sunlight. like happen upon a building that's under construction, and like down in the construction zone, they hear like the voice of a child, like mm-hmm. calling for help. So they all go down there, and it's a recording, and then they get trapped in this like cage essentially, and they can't get out. Um, it's electrified, and then there's a bomb. Maybe they explain because they well keep the saying, the sun comes up yeah. they turn to stone and then the bomb goes off destroying the building and hopefully destroying the gargoyles. <laughs> but mean, what it, happens was the the guy who came up with the secondary plan like had this rotating platform so after they turned into stone they like moved into a place that was safe from the bomb. Mm-hmm. Because Xanatos, Captain Xanadu, mm-hmm. uh, who's Riker, what's his name? Jonathan Frakes freaks uh he he anticipated this plot right and instead of just telling them don't don't go over there yeah i like that he also didn't just tell them he devised his own plot to help them have an out if they wanted an out which i think is that's like above a lot of kids who are watching (laughs) this i feel like wow that's that's interesting writing. Yeah, because once he woke him back up, he was like, you guys can just like leave. You can go wherever you want. Yeah. You, the people hate you. So that must be a, a 
common theme of all of this is that no matter what they do, yeah. the people just don't understand and hate them. Well, which we see is exactly the, we see the them in the X Men like stop a like alley robbery, and then the lady's like, "No, get away from me!" After like, yeah. after You're they scary. save her. Yeah, I mean, if You're we so knew, scary. I mean, in all fairness, we knew gargoyles existed. And we'd like never seen them. Yeah. We just knew they were like in our town, uh-huh. but they're around at night and I'm sleeping at night or whatever. Yeah. But then I'm out getting mugged and all of a sudden these giant creatures save me. I'd be yeah. like, hey, thanks. I'm going to just go though right now because <laughs> yeah, you're what terrifyingly I huge. Hang out. I pooped my pants. And the thieves <laughs> were like, oh, I'm sick of these gargoyles. It's like, then mug people in the daylight. Yeah. This is not hard. Do some day crime. Criminals. Day crimes. Yeah, there really should be more day crime. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying in real life and in the Gargoyles timeline. I'm looking for day crime. Can we talk for a second about how the Gargoyles had like like uh, <coughs> secret service earpieces in this? Yeah, they had a communication system. So they were like working with... Well, they're not telepathic, Jimmy. Yeah. Well... They're living in the city, man. They got to... They got to communicate. We're not like Bluetooth. regular... We're not like regular Gargoyles. We're cool Gargoyles. Yeah. So like, did the did the cop like hook them up, like lady cop? Probably, yeah. yeah. Or the Xanadu guy who like apparently he like he has technology, has a yeah. gajillions of dollars. That was an interesting yeah. thing though that the the majority of the group got trapped in this underground cage, but then there was another lady gargoyle, Angela, who was off doing another thing and it was like gonna go meet up with them after she found out they got trapped. But again, yeah. before she gets there, the sun comes up. Yeah. Because they just have no concept of like when the sun rises and how far it is between places. I wonder if at any point they specify like they actually beat the we sun. We help people, mm-hmm. and if the sun comes up, the sun comes up, and then the next day, we're if we're still here, we do it like that. Like <laughs> because they keep dropping the like the <laughs> gargoyles protect their protectors mm-hmm. no matter what they're like because they're like on their way home yeah when the one girl goes like did you hear that did you hear that little girl voice they're like yeah let's check that shit out oh, yeah yeah that's it's right. about to be something because the one of them's like he's like yawning and he's like yep but ready to call it a night yeah or the, a day the the, <laughs> cl- the clan who hates the gargoyles yeah um yeah the cast knows that the they're, knows that they will be good enough to try to save someone in need and yeah. that's how they lay they hate them so much that they know that they'll try to save an innocent human mm-hmm. and they're like oh yeah we're gonna use their good nature we hate them by the way we, we hate them they, we, they gotta go we hate them mm. and yeah. then but like why do they even gotta like destroy their building i guess because they're saying they're trying to say trying to paint the gargoyles as guilty Right, and try to give them like a, like a false like they flag. Walked but into they made a hint the as if like, men's actual building. Yeah. They, they made a hint as if they were like, oh, we could just go to like Japan and maybe we'd like meet other gargoyles or something like that. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe they know yeah, there about are other, other clans. Gargoyles. Yeah, there are other clans so. exist. So that's that, pretty cool. That's the thing. I'm just saying, if you want to stomp out some gargoyles, just like lure them to a place just before dawn, and then when it dawns. And just like smash them with a hammer, smash them to bits. Yeah, and then they that's did it. have hammers, and they did chant like "crush, hammer the stone" or something like, <laughs> like that. You don't need a bomb. Smash some stone. Yeah, is what they were <laughs> chanting. Like you don't need a bomb. You don't need a trap. You just gotta wait. You just gotta time it right, <laughs> and they'll turn into stone. It doesn't seem hard. I know so many things you could do, or you could just avoid them altogether. Just do all their stuff during the day. Yeah, if you need to do some stuff during during the day. Maybe it's the one thing the gargoyles have been doing right this whole time, and that's they have a place that they hide during the day that somehow no one knows where it is. Hmm. I assume they go back up to the castle. That's, yeah, you think they'd be pretty obvious. People just don't have access to go up the castle. But they have like jetpacks and hammers, so they do. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. And like laser guns and helicopters. Yeah. So they could have gotten up there. But then the world would have sounded like, oh, yeah, maybe they these guys are doing up. it. Mm-hmm. Maybe they lock themselves up inside their castle, wherever they are. That's what I'm just saying. It's pretty easy to lure them out. Just Yeah, you know, they'll just, get if they think the anyone's in trouble, they're just going to go anyway. They're going to save a single little girl. Yeah. In, have, in a construction site. <laughs> at, in the middle of the like night. Like the entire like, clan, basically. Or at like, 
five or six in the morning. Like, why is there a little girl over here? Like, be like, all right, we should call the cops and go to bed. And this girl's probably just like, she fell down here. Yeah. Just wandering. I don't know. She maybe she got lost. Gargoyles protect, Joe. <laughs> they do. They protect. Oh, but they're so dumb. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they're they're dumb. I mean, they're dumb. How they're did they even love. last this long? You know, this show is, it's, it's like good. It's definitely a kid's show. Like, they kept explaining things. They're just, like, one-off lines where mm-hmm. they were like, oh, we'll just yeah. shove these in a, and we'll stop the train. And it's like, as an adult, you're like, this never would be possible. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm-hmm. a, like, or they said something else. I forget what they were doing, but it was just like, the oh, it's like the guy who was going to dr- make the train drive off of a bridge mm-hmm. and kill everybody on the train. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got into the train and used, like, a bola gun, like, to, like tie up the people that were in charge of the train uh-huh. and it's like mm-hmm. you're planning on murdering everybody on this train why didn't you just shoot them or like just weird mm-hmm. stuff it's like just trying to sure. be kitty to like save it from being too violent sure even though it's like as an Saturday adult you're morning, like man. you're mur- trying to murder hundreds of people right now to m- murder seven gargoyles i guess hmm. you just gotta smash them you gotta like destroy this train <laughs> smash some stone <laughs> oh man that's a we that's weird um, not even like like specific stone, just some stone. Yeah, they don't care if it's gargoyles. They just have a thing for smashing stone. I really think mm. that sounds like you just want to have sex with a gargoyle. They probably I'm do. Trying to smash some stone. I'm trying to smash some stone tonight. <laughs> it's like uh, mm. they they're so against gargoyles because all they want to do is like have sex with a gargoyle. I'm some sure people that like hate homosexuals just, just because they're just super about... gay, you know. <laughs> repressed feeling is about gargoyles yeah interesting <laughs> that's what castaway's deal is speaking of which uh <laughs> one of the creators of gargoyles i saw this on the wikipedia so uh, maybe it was imdb uh, trust internet. your sources is what i'm saying you can trust everything you read on the internet oh yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, listening <laughs> but he said that like one of the things he wanted to explore was uh one of the gargoyles being gay <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, and it was like specifically for Lexington, he's like the little guy gargoyle. Okay. Um, he he's always the, he'd be the twink. Is that, <laughs> I, don't the, the I don't know what that means. Is that what, like the a twonk? tiny, the tiny it's gay a, person? It's always sunny. Termis or something like that. Reference. But yeah, the um, he intended for that character to be gay and like wanted to work that into the show, but just didn't get the time to do it. Hmm. So like one of the original <laughs> like writers. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh huh. Um, I mean, cool. I wrote down somewhere <laughs> that guy Eric Luke, mm-hmm. that he so he wrote some other Disney movies like in the eighties. He wrote The Explorers, the like young uh, um, ah, oh, what's his name? Ethan Hawke, right? That's a guy, Ethan. Hawk. Yeah, a young Ethan Hawke was in he, the uh, movie The he Explorers. Had a, he had a baby with a kid, Uma Thurman, like Alien movie, hmm. he, like in real life. Mm-hmm. Huh. And the sheep is in season three difference? of uh, Stranger Things. Uma Thurman is? No. Third daughter. The child. The love child. Mm. I still haven't seen that yet. You're watching, okay. you're watching crap like Gargoyles and you haven't seen Stranger <laughs> Things. I'm watching the Gargoyles here now. <laughs> With you guys. You were there. <laughs> you saw. Yeah. We ate tacos. We had a good time. Uh, I mean, all in all, it's a good show. If I had a child running around, I'd be like, you should watch this show. It's probably fun. I had fun. I mean, I like, I think I just like the idea of um, just mythical creatures hanging out in a city. Yeah, it's fun. And the, and the dumb stuff about the sunlight is just, that's fun too. <laughs> like, it's just a fun little weakness. I, I just want Joe to watch every episode because every single time you're going to be like, they got tricked again. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> every time they just like just poor time management like you gotta get home gargoyle it's like i'll get it for season ridiculous. one you're learning time management even though you've been <laughs> yeah. alive forever but season two it's like oh daylight savings you got, whoops you got, you oh, got 50 episodes to learn daylight savings <laughs> we sprung forward oh no <laughs> whatever what will we do St- <laughs> stupid time zone Stupid daylight saving. That was, yeah, that was a thing, another thing at the end of that episode. So they save the train. They're like celebrating with the humans. The humans are like thankful. They're like giving them hugs and stuff. They're not scared of the gargoyles anymore. And then we have that like 
uh, voiceover of Keith David talking about how we're accepted by the humans now. And it like pans out and then the sun is like coming over the hill. So like, like the gargoyle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, oh, oh man. <laughs> we're still terrible at this. <laughs> like they're about to like turn back, <laughs> turn back into stone and in just like fairness, be in a random field. It is the first time in over a thousand years that humans have liked them again. So yeah, they're so preoccupied. They're living it up. Yeah. I mean, Maza and uh, Zan- Xanatos seem to like them. Yeah. That's true. So they got two. So they'll just carry them back home or something? Yeah, they'll just carry them on their backs. Or they'll just wait in that field until the next day. I'm assuming that's what they're going to do. If there's any quarrymen mm-hmm. sympathizers, they could, they know where to find them and squash them. Yeah, some quarrymen still exist, just right? Smash that stone. Yeah, there's some like knocked out quarrymen like 45 like feet away. <laughs> yeah. So this was <coughs> canceled, but maybe... They had to have known by this episode. I mean, it it it's not because like the this is it's like, not like the ending I would have wanted, but it's definitely right. like at least an ending that like works. Like the humans you know? like us now, so we're not yeah. doing another one. And like the bad guy got caught. Like right. I, I oh, assume yeah. that's a recurring bad guy, and like he finally gets caught. Yeah, he seems to be at least the season three bad guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, this aired like long after this this finale aired two months after the last one the second to last maybe they so were they like, knew oh. yeah maybe they're like you're getting canceled and they're like can you give us two months to write out like a just a really sick ending one? <laughs> yeah we're gonna really put our time into this shit they and they maybe and maybe they were doing like a first half second half but then i got canceled halfway through because the th- episode 12 was in december 14th and then this last episode aired in february 15th hmm. well i mean which isn't that weird to have like a winter winter break, break but like to then that be the last yeah, normally there'd yeah. be more episodes but. maybe they did a thing where like we're gonna re-air the rest of the season again and then get some more ratings out of this before we shut it down oh yeah i'm sure they're probably still airing this crap it's on disney plus that's true Milk all it. eternity hmm um, for all the '90s kids. All right, should we review what we got for predictions? Let's do it. I got zero. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Demona is evil. She wasn't even in this episode. No, maybe nope. she did <clears throat> die in that first episode. Um, they go back to sleep slash stone at the end. Uh, I mean, they turn to stone, <laughs> but that's not what I meant. Yeah, not like an eternal stone. Eternal thought, stone yeah, I thought they yeah. were gonna stay that way. Mm-hmm. Um, a gargoyle eats a hot dog. Man, that. The, the big gargoyle did no eat nothing. No. Brooklyn, I think. Um, or Broadway. Broadway. Get it? He's fat. A fat gargoyle. He's broad. <laughs> oh, I That's get the it. Joke. <laughs> um, and then I said there'd be a hybrid gargoyle. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. No. No, there was no. no never. I did see a thumbnail of a minotaur. There was a minotaur in the thumbnail of yeah, like, one of the previous episodes. It. It's not gargoyle. Unless it had wings, it was just a minotaur. But a minotaur in itself is a is a hybrid yeah, yeah but i but i specifically said hybrid gargoyle i'm arguing oh, myself on a point oh, but okay it wasn't this episode anyway yeah, so well, it i didn't okay, it wasn't yeah. part of this really here nor there um <laughs> i had a gargoyle kiss um some gargoyle blood a uh, gargoyle song and a man, gargoyle baby man goliath got like shot through the wing mm-hmm. no blood no blood heals up oh, fast oh yeah um so yeah all those things are out <laughs> huh Big old zeros for us. How'd you yeah. do, Jim? <sighs> Pretty sweet. My number one was Goliath has a kid. I and mean, he called her daughter. <laughs> and he totally did. An- Angela? Angela. Angela of the night. Oh. Um, then I thought that the fat guy <laughs> ate a pizza. He ate nothing. Nope. Ugh. I thought they were in like yeah. a... I thought their, their headquarters was the real like cathedral in NYC. We didn't. I mean, didn't we didn't see, see them ever go. They never home. made it no. because they got captured immediately, <laughs> and then the sun came up seconds later. Uh, and then I thought they were gonna have some sort of fly off into the sunset, Lord of the Rings style ending, and they they were just fine. Yeah, they're just fine now. Yeah, everything's great with the humans. No mm. problems will ever occur again. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. All right. Well, you got one then. I got one. 
Yeah. Better than me and Joe combined. Cool. Yes. Way to go. Um, well, I guess that concludes the uh, gargoyle portion of this podcast. If you want to suggest some other shows, you can hit us up at F and L podcast on the Gmail, on the Twitter. Uh, you know, do other things. Star yeah. ratings or something. That's a thing, right? Rate us. Like the stuff. Comment the stuff. Yeah. If you like it, share it with your grandma. I'm sure she'd like share it too. Share the things. Do some day crimes. And yes. Oh man. <laughs> Please do some day crimes. <laughs> Cuz that's the that's the right time. Cuz then the gargoyles can't get you. Yeah. You're almost for surely going to get away with it. Yeah. No monsters of the night will stop you. No one expects a day crime. And they're just like, "Whoa." <laughs> that guy's just taking that donut. Okay. You can walk into a bank and hand a teller a note and they'll just <laughs> give you money. You don't even need a weapon. Day crime. Day crime. Remember when we were walking down uh Hennepin Avenue, and there was a dude lifting a bike on a bike lock, like up off of the like street sign. Oh, it was on. We're like, yeah, we're, that dude's totally stealing that bike. Could have been him. <laughs> Could have been his bike. <laughs> he was on a bike already. And you just watched him. <laughs> it's like a Seinfeld episode. <laughs> he, was, he was acting like you know, like oh, I'm coming back to get this this bike. Also, why did that street sign not have a sign attached to it? It was just a post. It was just a pole. Yeah. I uh, mildly remember this. A lot this. of things were weird. <laughs> we just kept walking. If you're going to do a day crime, just act like you're supposed you're to be on doing the it. other side of the street. You'll it's be fine. Busy Gargoyles don't exist. I would at least give do him they? a hey, just to like scare him off. Yeah, he probably would. You don't yeah. need to be accusatory, but you could just be like, hey. And then he'll either like drop it and leave because he thinks it's your bike, or he'll just be like, yo, this is my bike. And then you're just like, okay. <laughs> Is right. it or is it my Be bike? Be honest. I was going to steal that bike. <laughs> well, we need to go back in time like six or seven years now. It's been a while. Uh, whoever, that bike is long gone, even if that yeah. was not his bike, probably. All right. Thank you for listening. We're going to leave. I'm sick. I need to stop being alive. <laughs> alive? So, it seems like that's what's happening. Well. Uh, Tune in next week when Joe and I... <laughs> when it's just Joe and Jimmy. Me and Jimmy just grieve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just going to cry and cry. I'm dying. I'm, I'm dying. dying. All right. Goodbye. Tears. <laughs> <laughs>